How's it going everyone? It's Aaron back at Owner Edge Picture Video. Today we're gonna to be going over the custom made totes for the Jeep Patriot. These are from David McLeod, McLeod Fabrication. You guys know he makes a lot of uh um aftermarket stuff for the Jeep Patriot. We'll be going over his design of his tow hooks so you don't have to go with the expensive OEM option for Mopar. Um, this isn't going to be an installation video, it's just kind of going over uh, and doing a quick rundown of how everything bolts up and how it all goes together. Um, so let's get right into it. Alright, so you guys can see the tow hook is right here. Here's the front crash bumper. There's the radiator, the headlights, the fender, the uh, wheels, and everything like that. So here's the tow hook itself, as you guys can see, um, at the end of the video, guys, I mean, if you guys haven't seen pictures of my Jeep or, or, or just coming here, new to my channel, I'll show you guys at the end where these come out. Um, but let's just go over a quick overview of how they bolt up and everything. So if I just take you guys off real quick. So here's the tow hook itself. And here is the brace. Everything is really rusted. Um, it's kind of unfortunate that he didn't give me, um, like, didn't like coat any of the hardware or anything. I mean, it really just did kind of rust and everything. It's still really strong. Like, I could pull this and pull my weight on it. It's really good. Um, I've actually pulled some things with it and it's still as strong as it was when I got it. But here's the tow hook itself. Tow hook is from Harbor Freight. Um, and all the mounting hardware in the bracket is from David McLeod. Um, he sells these kits for, I believe, $65, um, and they're not too hard to make. Um, I'll leave a write-up in the description. Um, it was made for Jeep Patriot around the world on Facebook, but you would be getting um, some bolts that bolt the hook up to the, uh, to the, to the, the, the um, bracket type thing. Um, so you get some bolts, you're going to get some washers and some nuts this is pretty much all bolts together and then you're going to want to feed the bracket up into the frame and you're going to have another bolt and a washer and you just want to tighten that everything is tightened the snug um i've snugged it with hand and then i also um used a drill to um, tighten everything even more there's no desired torque specification you need to get um but that's pretty much how it is. It's just, this runs up into the frame. The bolt comes out back there. And then you um, actually have to bolt. There's a bottom bolt right there. I forgot to mention with the washer and it comes up through here. You have to drill, a, I believe it was a 13 16th hole. Um, don't quote me on that, but you also gotta um, put some washers in there and um, through the, and uh, just put the nut in the bolt and it's all snugged up and everything. Go over to the other side just to show you it's exactly the same. You know, here is tow hook the bolts, the washers inside again. And this one can be more of a pain because you got, I think this is like a, a relay or a fuse box. You have the horn here, you got a mounting bracket for whatever this electrical box is, and that's where the bolt for it comes up through the frame it comes up over there so it could be kind of difficult but um you're gonna want to stick a wrench up there so you can tighten that it'll all be uh quite difficult but you can get to it if you have enough time and patience but it's not that difficult to install it honestly once you get the bumper off that obviously takes the longest majority of the time but once you get everything off and you just start to do the tow hooks it takes maybe 20 minutes um, if you have problems taking off the bumper, I mean, that's obviously going to take longer. Like, this is what happened with me. But, you know, they're, they're good. They're um, as good as OEM, and they come out in the right spot. So, um, I'm going to put on the bumper and show you guys how it goes. Where they cut out. Um, you actually have to cut out. It's from the back of the bumper. But you have to cut out this. If you don't have a Freedom Drive 2 bumper, um, you're going to have to cut out that little cross member part. Um, I just cut it out by heating out, heating up a utility knife with a flame and it cut through like butter, but, um, there's obviously better ways to cut it. So yeah, so I'm going to put on the bumper and I'll show you guys what it looks like if you guys are new and I'll get right to that. All right. So this is what the tow hooks look like 
um, when you cut out that piece, like I said, it's going to go right across. You just want to cut out the whole thing. Um, this is what the total sugar will look like. Um, and when I, I mean, they look pretty good. They don't, they don't stick out that far, you know, and it's easy to get something like a, like a toe strap or something like that or a recovery strap around them. So it's pretty good. Hope you all have enjoyed. Hope this video helped you. Subscribe for more G Patriot videos. Leave a comment below what you'd like to see next. Leave a like if you found this helpful and I'll see you all next time.